Support WrestleTalk! Donate on Patreon. Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk News. I am Lou Cohen and I'll be replying to comments left in the first 15-ish minutes of this video going live. And a big congratulations to Progress who ran the largest independent show in the UK ever last night at Wembley Arena. Ollie El Fakador and myself had a great time at the event and then we went out for drinks with members of the SWAF Nation. I probably had one too many, missed my last tube home and then somehow had to get a taxi back from Bond Street which cost me 60 bloody quid. 60 bloody quid. Still, that Tyler Bate Walter match was incredible. Maybe what I need to feel better isn't a necessarily long WWE show. Wait a minute, that's not right at all. WWE Super Showdown is coming this Saturday from Melbourne, Australia, with a stacked card that includes AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe, The Miz versus Daniel Bryan, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair, The Bellas and Ronda Rousey versus The Riot Squad, and a supposed last time ever encounter between Triple H and The Undertaker. And Wrestling Inc. have noted that the release schedule for the WWE Network this week has revealed Super showdown will be five hours long. Using the tried and tested method of measuring time, that's the same runtime as two and a bit Star Wars films. Not only that, but the network schedule doesn't list a pre-show for Super Showdown, which means both the New Day and the Cruiserweight Championship match will be on the main show for a change. Perhaps the biggest match on the Super Showdown card is that apparently final ever time battle between Triple H and The Undertaker. However, there may be a caveat to that last time ever tagline in that it's the last ever singles match between the two. It was reported by Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer that WWE were working on getting Shawn Michaels out of his 2010 retirement for a tag team match between DX and the Brothers of Destruction at WWE Crown Jewel in Riyadh next month. WrestleVotes have also reported this and added last week that Michaels and Taker could have another match at either Survivor Series in November or at the Royal Rumble in January. This rumor gained some ground when Undertaker announced on Raw that HBK will be in Triple H's corner while Mayor Glenn Jacobs will be in his, sparking speculation that an angle will take place at Super Showdown to set up the tag team match in Saudi Arabia. And now WWE themselves are starting to tease this tag team match, posting a picture of the two teams on Instagram asking who would win this fantasy warfare. Maybe the Crown Prince also wanted a WWE return for Batista, as he's finally coming back to SmackDown Live for SmackDown 1000 later this month. Like Raw 25 earlier this year, SmackDown 1000 will be a celebration of the show's history, with WWE announcing that Undertaker will return to the blue brand for the first time since SmackDown's 900th episode. There's rumors that former World Heavyweight Champion Edge will also be on the show, and there will likely be other surprises to mark 1,000 episodes of SmackDown Live. And now WWE have confirmed Raw exclusive stable Evolution will be on the show. Wait, what? WWE's Twitter account announced that Evolution will be getting back together for one night at SmackDown 1000, making it the first time ever the group have been on the show. But more importantly, it sees the WWE return of Batista, who was last seen in the company back in 2014 during Evolution's feud with The Shield. Batista has been very open about a possible WWE return, confirming Dave Meltzer's report on a radio show back in April that he was talking with the company about teaming with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. He added in that interview that he wanted to do it, but only if they teased a singles match between Batista and Triple H for Mania next year. According to Batista, however, WWE just stopped talking to him about the match, which eventually saw Kurt Angle team with Rousey to take on the authority. Batista also said on Twitter in response to a fan asking if he'll be at SmackDown 1000, surprise, surprise, I wasn't invited. Guess by now I shouldn't be shocked anymore. However, Raja are reporting this was done just to throw off fans, which could also be the case for Edge, who said he won't be at SmackDown 1000 either. El Fakador has given his predictions for WWE Super Showdown, which you can watch by clicking the video on screen right now. And come see Wrestle Ramble live this November when we take over the Prince Charles Cinema. I've been Luke Owen, and that was wrestling.